Hey guys, we are back at Fanimation, the place that dreams are made of if you dream about fans. And I think I'm the only one here. We're going to do an updated uh, video tour. So we're in the lobby. The lobby is known for its enigmas. And I quite accidentally, when I was coming in here, found the switch that turns the enigmas and the lights above them on. So we'll turn them on in a second. When I came in, this Aviston was already on, or Avastin, I'm not sure which it is. I can't find the remote for it. It's probably on FanSync. Uh, when I came in, this Xonix was not on, so I must have accidentally found the switch for it. But um, I don't know what that is. We'll see here. Now, these are just lights, I think. That's, that's those recessed lights there. This is the hallway. And then back here, these, those. So we'll see what we can find as we do our tour. Um, yeah, I really don't know. We'll come back and do the air shadow in a second, but I, I'll i show you at least where I found the uh, Enigma switches, which is just this switch here at the top of the stairs which I've probably turned on a zillion times since I've been here not knowing what it did. So let's... And you can see there's a little blue pilot in those as well. So I don't think either of these is the... I don't know what this does. We'll see if that turns off the thing downstairs. This is these hall lights. Unless this is the bullpen. Is that the bullpen? Yeah, that's the bullpen. So, I don't know how I got the uh, Xonix on. I haven't played with any remotes yet. But here are the Enigmas. Let's put them on high. The bottom one's on high. Did it take it too? Okay, the bottom one looks like it's not responding. They move some air, I'll tell you that much. Okay, let's try off. I'm just gonna hit it a zillion times, because who knows? Lights are having trouble starting, probably because they've been on, off, on, off all morning because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what that switch did. So we'll leave them on for now. Yeah, we'll figure, we'll get to the bottom of this here. This light has been on most of the time I've been here. I haven't seen this fan run. So who knows? Oh, I want to plug in the cool fountain. Only Tom Frampton would have something like that made. Yeah, they're all slowing down. So, I like the air shadow. So we'll do a demo mode for the air shadow. And that one there, the light will eventually come on, I think. How are we doing over here? Yep, they're all slowing down, but it takes a while. I always forget to do this conference room here when I do the tours. It hasn't changed that I know of. But let's see. Lights, lights. How do I get both? High. Yeah, that's both. I know I would start with low, but I wanted to just make sure that they worked. There's got to be a way to get both lights. There, but that one's dim. There we go. Oh, I lost it. Both on bright. I knew I could do it. Low. 
These yeah, actually are about, they're not too loud on low. It's a good, good seed for them. These are loud fans, just in the air that they move, it's just small space. Medium. Medium's pretty loud. And high. <coughs> they move a lot of air, though, for a small fan. Let's set it down. This is the room where they have meetings with anybody that's not from Fanimation. Like if somebody like they're coming here to pitch someone or someone's coming to pitch something to them, they often have them in this conference room. Looks like that one's going to stop first. Okay, there's a bunch of motors over here. Here's take, taking apart motors so you can see the quality. I wonder if that's a competitor's motor that's here for reference. So you can see, look, theirs are cheaper. I don't know what this goes to. Not DC, I don't think. I don't know. Well, I have some things to learn. Okay, that's this conference room. How are we doing out here? Try to do the same thing with Bill. First of all, we finally stopped in the Enigmas. Yes, we have. So let's turn them back to low. That's where they belong. Lo, I say to you. Lo, bottom and stubborn one. There we go. I'll put the one back here. The lights are finally on. And I don't know what I did. It's on a different speed now. So it must be on the same frequency as something else, but what? Um, how do you get that other light on? I know there's a way to do it. There we go. Low. Wait a second. Is this off or is this... This is off. Could it be on the Enigma remote? Could it be the same? What do you the Enigma remote? Is this plugged in? Of course it is. Low. Low, low, low. Low, 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 low. No, not that. The only other one I played with was the Beckwiths. Let's see here. Low. High. Nope. Not responding to that. Did I turn a switch off and that switch was that? Lights. These switches are all on still. On, on. <clears throat> on. Well, let's continue with the tour, but I'm going to get to the bottom of that. I, I want to know. <clears throat> Somebody teach me how to Xonix. So I've showed you before, but we'll just remind you that it's here. Jana's office has the air shadow in the exposed mechanics version. That's pretty cool. That's just low, high, off. I've already done a video where I go through it completely. I'll figure you out, Xonix. So, here's the break room, but the, there's been a fan, no fan in the break room since the first time I was here. First time I was here, there was one there, and I took it down and haven't put it back up since, and I don't know why. So, what else we got? Okay. 
Here's an office with the Levine. Let's see if it is ready to go right now. Nothing from the uh, well control. Anyone that can't be controlled is probably on fan sync, and then the person who works in that office has it on their phone. So. No luck with the Levon in here. Let's see, in here there's this thing. Let's see if there's a remote. Oh, it's coming on. I don't see a remote, so. Not sure how that's uh, controlled. Because if it's fan sync, would it come out of the switch? I suppose it would if it was left on that speed last time the power was, di was disconnected. Wow. For that slow of a speed, I feel some air from it. That's probably the fan. Since you haven't tested this one before, we'll let it spin down a little bit. Is this Denise's office, maybe? Okay. Here is um, one of these guys. I don't know what they're called either. This is in the uh, accounting office. Let's see if I can spot a remote. I don't spot a remote. I guess they could be in drawers. I don't want to go through people's desks. If it's just sitting right on top, that's one thing. But otherwise, I'm not going to dig through a piece of any stuff. I do not see any remotes. So we'll just... Which switch is the fan? That one. I like the finish on this. I don't really care for the design. It's just a standard modern fan design. But that finish is very nice. You can just tell it's a quality finish looking at it. I think what is that satin nickel or chrome or chrome is coming back. A fanimation is doing a lot of chrome or polished nickel possibly. It's a little bit yellower than uh than chrome. It's taking a while to spin down here. I try to wait for it to spin down if I haven't filmed it before, but I don't know how much time to spend. Okay, I think their lights were off. Let's turn the lights off. And the brewmaster. Uh, add control though. It's high. Low does it work on low? This is not a standard brewmaster control. Yep. Off. I said off.
I don't think this was here the last time I filmed the offices, so somebody has changed their fan. I wonder how often that happens. I wonder if you can just put in a request. Like, yeah, I want a different fan. Okay, nobody I don't think works in this office. Let's see if I have a key. Not that one. There we go. Wow. Holy low-hanging fan. If I even try to turn this on... Okay, it'll it'll work, but is there a remote for it? I don't see how I'd even be able to find it if there was. It's a... Uh... Oh! So this is where they take a picture of the fans for the catalog. There's your backdrop. That's why the fan is low. And look at all the lighting. Interesting. So it's probably not hooked up. Well, the light maybe. Here's a remote over here. See if I can get to it. Yep. The light is not working. I got that absolutely wrong. There's low. Here's medium. Here's high. What was the light trying to do there? Oh, it's a fluorescent light. Who moves some air? Off, I say. I give you the command of off. Make sure I pull my keys out of this door, otherwise I'll leave them there and not know where they are. <clears throat> it's pretty close there. Xonix is growing on me. A lot of these Fanimation fans, as a vintage fan collector, when I see them in pictures, I'm like, eh, it's too new. And when I see them in person, I'm like, that's cool looking and you can tell it's quality. Honestly, something just looking like it's quality made goes a long way. Like the construction of the housing and the finish is just... I wonder how long we'll be Xonixing here. I'm about done with Xonixing, but it's not. It's got some more Xonixing to do. I wonder why the Xonix is the last fan they took a picture of. I'm sure there's a reason. Okay, we're about to stop. Thank God. Okay, other than the museum, which we'll get later, because there have been a lot of changes to the museum on both floors, I think the only thing left on the ground floor is the R&D lab. And I did a video in here yesterday where I showed all the fans, but I can, we'll still come in here again as part of the tour. So, there was this Odin in here. If I can find the remotes, I'm going to turn everything on low. And that one I couldn't find the remote to. This one used the pull chain, high, medium, low. This one... This one... I said low. It worked yesterday. 
There we go. This one. And then, I think that's it. Did I run this thing in here? I don't remember. I don't think so. I'm going to find it wrong for it. But as you can see, that's everything. An R&D lab. You know what? I'm a rebel. Let's turn everything to high. Don't tell anybody I did this. There's high. I'll wait on that. That Odin that office doesn't need to be because we can't see that anyways. That uh, backlift's still on high. Okay. Medium low off. Off. Most of these are DC. I guess the lab guys really like their DC. Off. Off. And while we're waiting on those to spin down, I'll turn this Odin off before I forget. The DC fan stopped very quickly. Is that still on? Do you not take your off command? Do as you're told. It's like my kid. Yeah, the DC fan stopped quickly, but that's not DC. And in here, more offices really take some sort of service phone calls. I'm not sure specifically what. And a big fan there. I showed it yesterday on speeds. So yeah, if you want to see me spend more time with the fans in here, um, I've got a specific video for that. You can go check that out. Okay. And the Xonix is still off. What could have possibly turned it on? Where's my coffee? That's another important question. Well, I came in here, I had a cup of coffee. Where did I set it? Okay. So this could not have anything to do with the Xonix because that did not do anything for these. Did that affect the Xonix? No! The Enigmas are off, but the Mercury lights are still on. Much confused. Now I don't know how I turn those things on. I clearly did it. Well, it's not the most important part of the tour. So we'll worry about that later. I don't know this woman's name. She's very nice. I think she's Nathan's assistant. This work? Nope, it's got a DC remote down here. light. Why well, that cool? Is everybody get the down light on? Huh? Neo. Low. I don't know what this is called. I call it a cool fan. It's a six speeder. But we're just going to do low and high. Maybe I'll come back and do a video where I show everything. Six speeds means DC. And DC means that they move it. To, I've not met a DC yet that did not move as much or more air than a standard k 55 type fan, for what it's worth. Okay. Let's stop it. We'll come back to that 
Well, DC doesn't take that long to spin down. I guess we can do that quickly. And we'll come back to it. It is taking a little while. This is Nathan's office, the president of Fanimation, and Tom's son. And he has changed his fan. This is something I like much better than what was there before. So let's stop it. Stop, I say. Why you no stop? It's powered on. But otherwise, it's not responding to the remote. Is it, are there fans sync for DC fans? Is it not a DC fan? It says that maybe that's what it is. It's not, because it's got pull chain. It's not a DC fan, but it's on DC wall control. Let's say that's off. Let's just see. Nope, low. That's off. High, medium, low. Let's assume that's low. Yeah, this is not my favorite finish, but I really, really like the Levon. I did not like it when I first saw it. Now I want one. Okay, that's low. We're going to assume that's off. Let's make sure. High. Okay, power off. Maybe I'll, like I said, maybe I'll do a video more accurately going through the speeds. We'll see. This is the office with the disassembled fan that is still disassembled, but does it run? Now with this wall control, is there a remote? No, but I see fan sync, so I bet you it's on fan sync. They're testing something, maybe fan sync. Say fan sync can. Here's one of these embrace huggers in this office here. There we go. John Frampton is here. Wonder what he's doing here. I was the only one here for a while. I always like it when there's somebody else here, so I have to go up and down ladders and scaffolding and stuff. There's somebody to call if I fall. Hasn't happened yet, but you know, you always want to be safe. Okay, next up we have the bullpen. And I went through a video going through all these fans, but uh, I wish I could find the remote for the Torto there. I love the Torto. But we'll, we'll turn them on uh, low at least. Thought this one worked. Maybe not. Low. I could have sworn I got this one to work yesterday. Am I crazy? Yep. <clears throat> then I think this one was the next one I got to work. And I know I got this embrace to work. Yeah. 
about this one? I don't remember. As a fellow fan collector would say, I slept since then. No, I think that's it. There's the bullpen. All the fans on low there. Here's the uh, display room, board room, conference room. This switch just turns those two on, and I haven't been able to find a remote for that one there. I did find a remote for this. Is that a big island, maybe? I'll do a separate video going through that on the speeds. I thought I did that yesterday, and I'm pretty sure I forgot, but... There it is on low. And then we had some more offices here. I know we've seen this one before. I just wanted to point out the uh, Enigma is still in Ed Frampton's office. Is there something on there? No, that's a screw that I never noticed before. And this is what, John Wirt's office, maybe? And this thing's still here. Is it going to spin? Yep. It's got a DC motor, and I think we found out last time this was on FanSync. <clears throat> so we couldn't figure out how to, uh... And then last but not least, we have the office of the great Tom Frampton. The legend himself, who started Fanimation when he was very young. The brewmaster is still here. How many speeds? Three. I don't really notice much of a difference. So that's the grand tour uh, of Fanimation, excluding the warehouses and the museum and uh, we'll get those in a little bit so thanks for watching